Hey there, Judge Evans here. Today I want to talk about time sharing. Time sharing is what we used to call visitation. Visitation is a horrible name, a horrible term I should say, because parents don't visit with their children. So now we call it time sharing and have for, for quite some time. And really, it's pretty simple. This where I said in the last video that parental responsibility is all mental and you don't have to move, Here's the part where you have to move. The children are actually moving back and forth between the houses. It's physical. Parental responsibility, mental. Time sharing, physical. Okay, that's why I made that distinction in the last video about share parental, uh, excuse me, about parental responsibility being mental. Okay, quite simply, time sharing. Where are the children going to be sleeping at night? Where are they laying their heads down at night? Because when we are looking at time sharing plans we are uh, concerned with the children's overnights i mean many children you know of school age are in school during the day for however many months out of the year and in charlotte county we have a couple of schools that go year round so uh, the court is concerning itself with where are those children overnight there is no set plan in florida people say oh well how about a how about a traditional plan well what does that mean there's nothing traditional each family is different each child is different, and what is in the best interest of one child is not necessarily going to be the same for the next child that comes along in the next case. And the court looks at many factors under Chapter 61 to determine, well, what is in this child's best interest? So we hear people, I get this, now this one I get a lot, and we've talked about this in class, and this one I'm going to keep harping on so you get it. People will come in and say, well, little Johnny is 13 he's old enough to decide because the age in Florida is 13 no it's not there is no age in Florida for a child to be able to come into court and say this is who I want to live with in fact the statute says one of the factors is the court considers the child's preference if the child is of sufficient age and intelligence to express such a preference those are pretty close to the to the words that the statute uses. They're not. It's not exact, but the point is that there's no number, and many people think it's 12 or it's 13. Nope, it's no number. What people don't realize is that children do not have a right to come into court and speak to the judge. They do not have that right. In dependency cases, they do. In family cases, they do not. So generally, I know. That I'm not too happy if someone comes and says, oh, well, little Johnny's right outside wanting to talk to you. Really? Well, that's not going to happen. Not without the filing of a motion and requesting for the court to talk to the child. Because I want to know, how is it in that child's best interest to talk to me? Why is the child involved in, in this lawsuit? Children should be allowed to be children. So why is that child involved? Do we have an older teenager who's, you know, maybe 16 years old, 17 years old, 15, whatever, who says, hey, this is my life and I... You know, I would like to be heard. Okay. Or do we have a, a younger child, 9 or 10, who says, I want to tell the judge who I want to live with. So in order for a child to come talk to the judge, a motion has to be filed and a hearing is held on the motion. And then the parties can uh, give the court both of their sides for whether or not the child should be heard. Uh, and then the court can decide, am I going to listen to the child or am I going to create a time-sharing schedule without any input from the child? Time-sharing can be anything from Monday, Tuesday with dad, Wednesday, Thursday with mom, and then they share, they split the weekends or rotate the weekends. It could be week on, week off. It could be two weeks on, two weeks off. It could be um, every other weekend with somebody. I mean, it, it, the sky's the limit. It could be every three days you switch. It could be three, four, four, three. It could be two, five, five, two. There are all kinds of ways to give parties time sharing with their children. What's important in a time sharing schedule and in fashioning a time sharing schedule is what's best for the children. What is in the children's best interest? And that is what we're going to talk more about in class. And I'll see you in the next video.